Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a page inside this book here. This is Wonderland Animals. It's a Japanese coloring book. And I cannot pronounce the name of the author. I will leave it in the description box though. I'm going to do this cute little page here. And I'm going to be using some of my Tombos to go on the page first and then we will use some colored pencils on top. So I'm going to kind of get the page down a little closer to you and we will get started. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, some of the leaves. So I brought out three colors. They're kind of the soft um, greens. Boom, boom, boom. This is green gray, it's 228. And I have 158 and 312, and I'm not quite sure the names of those, so I'd have to look them up, but I will list them down below in the description box also. So I'm going to start off with 228 and do, oh, let's say these leaves here. We're going to, well, let's see. Here we go. I think this one will work as so long as it doesn't have any color on it. I'm going to put it on the plastic here. This is just a uh, cutting sheet I got at the dollar store. Okay, we're going to pick some up with the blender part and just color that in lightly there. I think that'll work a little easier. Make it dark on one side and then just blend it out. So how is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Hoping I can get this picture done. Tomorrow is Father's Day and I am going to be busy. <laughs> There we go. Now we're going to also use that color. I think these might be the same thing, so we'll just go up on that one. If they're not, they're going to get a little color on them that's the same. my first time working in this book so let's see how all this works then these little guys up here we're gonna do those and these are tiny really tiny <laughs> but at least the nib of that pen works well in there I don't think that was a leaf, but we're going to make it one. We'll darken a few of those. Yeah, that looks good. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to get another color out. Um, that was the 228, so we'll pull out 312. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put it on this thingy bopper since that seemed to work well. And we'll just pick it up. This is going to be a little more um, blue color, I believe. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear the kids yelling. I think they're having a party. And they are screaming. Always fun. <laughs> okay, and we're going to go down a little. Then maybe we'll add the other color that is number 158 over here on this one. Kind of looks like a dandelion leaf. <laughs> There's a little of that up here. It could be something else, but we're going to put that color up there too. Oh, there's another one of those little... Oh dear, what color did we use up there? Uh, this one. <laughs> Tiny little leafed ones. some bigger leaves so we're going to mix those two together uh -huh. and then that other color over here the dandelion color okay we got another droopy leaf here but that is also um, not what we have going on here so we're going to mix dandelion with some of this a uh, bluer color. Just so none of our greens are the same. these little leaves. Put a little of that 
228 next to the one we used with the dandelion and mix those two up. Okay, and these guys up here. And then these little guys on this side. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is a little coat of stuff on the flowers. So we'll move our greens out of the way. Um, get something to wipe off all this that I have on there. A little spray of water. And we will get some other colors down. This isn't a very big piece, but it'll get it done. These are very light bluish, I believe. This one's kind of purple, that's blue. These are kind of pink, purple, bluish color. Those are the colors I picked out. I've got grays to do the little doodette. She says she's got a little pearl necklace on. It's cute. <laughs> um, so I've got yellow uh, for these a orangey color for that one, pink for these guys, blue for whatever. I'll just put these colors down and we will work with what we got. <laughs> See where we go here. We'll do the yellow ones first. So I'll put some yellow over here. This is number 62. And we'll go ahead and put some yellow in here. We didn't do the little leaves on here. Well, um, right next to the yellow, I'll put a little of this green 312 and we'll mix those two together and color in those leaves there tiny little things. There we go. Okay. And kind of a yellow up here. It mixed in with the blue, so it's okay. Gotta remember, we are going to go in with pencil and shade up some of this stuff. So I'm going to go in with 817, which is a pink color. It's kind of a dusty pink. And we're going to do these guys. Yep. Okay. A little bit of this color. I think it's purple. Could be a blue. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a purple when I pulled it out. So we're going to find out. We're going to do this one. And we're going to do this little tulip guy down here. Okay, then we have this one over here and these little guys here. 
Why don't we do those in this color? It's kind of a light color. And then the number 912, it's kind of a burnt orange kind of color. I'm going to mix it in with just a hint of the pink. And we're going to do this one over here. And we're going to use that same color with a little bit of that yellow in it for the collar of the shirt here. going to do a little bit of the um, little one itself and we have two grays out for that uh, 95 which is the lightest color and 55 which is a shade a darker so we're going to go on the board again we're going to wash off these colors I have here And scribble down the lightest color, which probably I could put right on there, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I probably could. You can't even see it on the board, really. So we're going to go in here and put down some color straight from the pen. Somewhere in there is a little foot. This leg needs to be darker than the one in front. And so does that one. Okay, we're going to go up here. do this now with the um, other brush. about the darker color. <laughs> so we're going to put it on there. 
could do it all with pencil, but Yeah, I think I'll do all that with pencil. That works. Okay, so I will get the pencils out and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to take some polys because I know that the gray green goes really good with earth green that I have out on my desk. And we're going to deepen these colors up a little bit. Just like that. I'm pretty sure we did these in the same color. If you don't have um, the polychromos, any gray green would work on this. I'm pretty sure the um, Prismas have a gray green color. So. We'll just work on those a little bit. I like how that just darkens it, but it doesn't darken it too much. And I think we did these little guys, didn't we? in the same color. So I'll just get this a little sharper. Getting those teeny tiny little leaves and just darken some of those towards the stem area and anybody who's behind another one. Just like that. Separate those a little bit. And then it's okay if you're out of line a little bit here or there. It's a watercolor picture, so. I think it looks kind of neat that way. Oh yeah, we pretended this was a leaf. <laughs> Doing these little guys over here. In case you miss one, now is your time to fill it in, too. Not sure if that is just a green. bunch of leaves down there. We're going to do it, but I'm not sure if that's what that's supposed to be. Who cares, right? Okay, we're going to get out a darker green. What do we have? We have two more greens on my desk. <laughs> I'm just going to use the stuff on my desk. Um, chrome oxide green and olive green yellowish probably would work good on this dandelion guy. Or these guys.
Okay. Did we do anybody else in that color? Besides the little guys here? I don't know. So now we're going to go in with the um, chrome oxide green into these guys. We didn't do these little guys with the marker. I think they're olives. <laughs> I'm not sure. I did this one the same. I think I'll go trace all of these with the sharpen point. Go right over that gray line. Nice as those gray lines are light enough that you can trace right over them. That's cool. Anybody else was dark? This guy here.
might bring some ivory into that. We're going to do the same thing over here. And I didn't color this guy. I think it's the same color as the other ones. So we'll just put a little pink on there and get him done. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're going to sharpen up this earth green and see if we can't trace around these two. I don't know if it'll show up as much. I don't know about these tiny ones. <laughs> these are really small for me to see.
Okay. And let's see the olive green yellowish. Sharpen that up and do this one. duster wherever I put that one okay we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna darken the little bits here This will go up here. We'll put a little leaf there since I went out on lines. <laughs> oh, we got a little baby here. Hmm. I think he might be the blue one. Um, bing. <laughs> Tiny little thing. Okay, and um, this one we'll do with the earth green. a little pinky color in here. We're going to go with what I have on my desk. Cinnamon. We'll just add a little shadow in here in some spots. of small so you don't want to spend too much time on them and then this little guy up here can you see him I don't know hopefully I've been in focus this whole time but I have no idea we're also going to use a little of the cinnamon in this flower and the color Okay. 
do have a soft blue and we're going to go into the little flowers here this is cobalt turquoise and we're just going to add a little bit just to make those a little bluer than the other ones um, this one's supposed to be purple I don't know if I have a purple on my desk Hmm. Do I have gray on my desk? I thought I had gray. Well, I'm going to have to break into the book. <laughs> the book. <laughs> Pencil case. That's the book. Let's see. Gray. Is there cold grays? Do I want cold grays or do I want warm gray? Well, maybe we'll use a little both. I don't know. We'll use a little both. Okay. Bunch of grays. Put those there. I need to get just a little bit of a light purple. Do we have a... Ugh, trying to find a light purple. But we just go with... I was thinking a periwinkle would be nice. Uh, the one I can't read. This is just, isn't that a nice mess there? They printed over it a few times. Light ultramarine might work. So we're going to go down and add that into our tulip -y flower here. And our little I don't know what this is little flower up here Those are blues, right? And bluish purpley colors. All right. Keep that over here. Then we're going to go in and work on our little fur for our little dude. This one is a cold gray number three. We're going to start over here. Make sure this is darker than everybody else. And bring in some fluff here. Are we going to do these olives too? Hmm. We'll wait to do those. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring the fur all the way up. So we're going to take little tiny lines and turn the pencil every now and then to get some fur going up his back. Since we don't have any other than the little tiny bits that are on the side. You want to kind of go with the leg curves so does the back and you're going to have kind of this fur going this direction so I'm going to put some fur in here if you can hear the lawnmower, but sorry. Tummy's a little darker or underneath the side here. Then it's lighter up on the top. But again, this is the lightest gray I think I pulled out. 
and it does have to make the markings all over him. Or her. here. Okay, we are fuzzy. I'm going to bring in a cold gray five. Darken here a little bit. I need to darken his tail up. Well, I think I'll be putting some black in there too and maybe a touch of brown. Darken it a little bit here and then bring some of it up, but leaving some white here because that can be a little bit of hair that's coming down over the other leg. Okay. 
Okay. And a little up here, a little more darker. Okay, then we're going to bring in, what do we have? Warm gray, mm -hmm. 1V. I'm gonna throw a little of that in here. Soften up his eye a little bit. Okay, we will add a little bit of brown in there too. So I'm going to bring in a little raw umber. And again, around his uh, face up here. Just going to soften that a little bit. Throw some of that in the yellow flowers that are yellowish. <laughs> They're not really yellow. Okay, I'm gonna get the black out. Oh, oh my god, the little black? No. Okay, big black. <laughs> the little black one hurts my hands. Okay, so we're gonna add in a darker tail. Maybe fluff it up a little bit more. Don't want to hit this line here, so we have to go above it. I'm going to go down, just softly outlining it. Same with the leaf.
Okay, when you're putting in the fur, remember to turn your pencil so you get a sharp edge. But also change the position of the fur um, when you're coloring it. So I'm pulling it and then I'm bringing it back down. You get a little difference in the texture that way. And when you're doing fur, that helps a whole lot. Tiny little strokes if you can. If we have to, we can go around and redo those leaves. But I need to get the fur in there. <laughs> Darken his eyeball. Okay, if you need some lighter lines in there, you can either use your eraser or this little tool here. I'll leave a link to it down below. It's a slice tool. And you can just pull up some of those lines.
Okay, we're going to put a little pink in his ear, so we're going to use the cinnamon I had out here. And did I put it back up here? Yep, cinnamon. Put a little out here too. Tip his nose. We're going to take um, dark sepia and get a point on that. Okay, we're going to go down this one, add in some dark sepia in here. So you can see the branches that are in here. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this and bring that down. Maybe we'll do the olives in this color. There is something there that's green. No, I shouldn't do that green. I'll do this green. There. Okay. see that better. I don't think I want to bring any Posca in there. Um, I'll bring in the uh, okay sharpen that. Okay this is a uh, brand new Holbein <laughs> Uh, soft white and we're going to bring in a little of that white coming down in here Get the tip off of that so it's just a little bit
Okay, we're going to get our black um, Sakura glaze pen. We're going to get his eye nice and shiny and dark. I have to wait for that to dry, by the way, <laughs> before I can put the little white dot in there. So while we're doing that, we're going to work on the pearls. We're going to be in the cold gray uh, number three. And we're just going to go around the outside of those pearls. to separate them all. I'm going to take in the uh, dark sepia very gently. Like a letter C underneath them all. Take in a warm gray too. Then we're going to take our eraser and I'm just going to tap it. one to give it a little brighter look on it so it looks more like a little bit of a pearl. We're going to take in our lightest blue we had and just add a tiny touch. Do you notice it's kind of chipped there? I'm going to use that real sharp tip there. <laughs> just add a little bit of blue in there. There we go. Okay, our eye is almost dry. Let's see which pen I can get. It's white. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, this is the Truly Art White. go. And if you want to bring in any other um, fluffy marks, this is the um, Faber Cassell Pit Artist Pen in White. And you can fluff in some of those and make them really soft.
if you want, you can pull that into your flowers too. Lighten one side of them. We didn't put any color in that one. I'll have to do that. There we go. Hey, he looks awfully cute. <laughs> Let me just do a little bit more on his nose here. We're going to bring in a little warm gray just right up here on the tip of his nose. make that dark in the center there might want to find a dark pencil dark sepia darkening that so we can see it. This is just the dark sepia and I'm adding it here and there just to darken some areas. Hmm, I don't know what I did there. There. I can't erase it. We're going to have to put in a something there. Why don't we bring in a little thorn or something right there. And maybe put one down here. There we go. That works. And then just maybe a little darkness right in there. And 
And um, this line must belong to that little flower up here. So we'll make that green. All right. There we go. What I'll do is get the camera up, <laughs> I'll take a picture of it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had fun with this one. And yeah, everything seems to work pretty good on this paper. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye now.